Hello friends, my name is Arpita Karwa and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to solve a very crucial problem faced by a lot of UGC net aspirants. A lot of housewives or working professionals think that they wouldn't be able to clear UGC net because they don't have time. But that is definitely not the case. If you ask me that Arpita, is it possible to cover the syllabus if I can only devote 2 or 3 hours every day, I would say yes. Sometimes people give up because they feel that in their head it is not possible to cover a syllabus in such a limited time. But today in this video we are going to burst this myth. If you have only 2 hours, if you can just spare 2 hours, I promise you that you can clear UGC net in flying colors no matter which subject you opt for. I am going to give you 5 Ramban tips that will ease your life and help you sail through your exam by just studying 2 hours every day. Also, there's a big bonus tip waiting for UGC net English aspirants at the end of the video. So, don't miss out on that. But before I start, please subscribe to the channel because I'm going to put many videos in the same series where I'm going to talk about how you can prepare for UGC net exam, what topics you should be covering if you're facing a time crunch and a lot of exam tips and tricks that will help you stand out. Friends, the first tip is to study in a distraction-free environment. When you are studying, your phone should not be in the sight. Tell the people around you to not disturb you at any cost. You have to set a no disturbance zone for yourself. Because UGC net is a very very important exam and if you are not focused, if you are distracted then there is a high chance that you will not be able to retain whatever you are studying. Now a lot of you would say that Arpita, we have so many disturbances happening at our place that we cannot go to uh, a place where there is no disturbance. I would suggest you to either find a study library around your house or study at the night time from 11 pm to 1 am when all the people of your life are fast asleep. This brings us to point number 2. It is consistency. Make sure that you are dedicating 2 hours every day because this will build your habit and give you the required confidence. No matter what happens, be it a friend's party or a dinner or a function at home, you have to study every day. There might be cases where you'll be swamped with office workload or something else might be happening in your life. But remember that you have to clear your exam and you only have 2 hours every day to make your dream come true. Also, if you miss studying for just one day, it will break your flow and you might get anxious that how am I going to cover the, this lost time. Hence, consistency is extremely important. Remember, back in childhood, we all read how turtle won the race despite rabbit being the faster one. It was because the turtle constantly kept moving while the rabbit got distracted and he slept. Hence, slow and steady wins the race. And similarly, you have to be very consistent with studying 2 hours every day. Friends, while I was preparing for my UGC net exam, I used to carry a mistake notebook and that is my tip number 3. In that mistake notebook, I used to write every wrong answer that I gave in the mocks and every fact that I forgot repeatedly during my revision sessions. And I used to look at that notebook every day. And you know what happened? My common wrong answers became right because I was revising those every day and I was updating my notebook every day. In fact, toppers of all stream, be it UPSC, CA, NEET, JE, swear by this technique, they all have a mistake notebook. So, complete a unit, give the mock test of that unit and then write the questions that you fumbled on in the mistake notebook. If you are looking forward for test series that can help you provide unit wise questions then you can check out our website arpitakarva.com we have complete UGC net mock test series both for paper 1 and paper 2 you get to see unit wise mock test series as well as full length mock test series in the courses so attempt these mock tests see your mistakes jot them down revise them constantly and your preparation will be top notch friends now let's jump to the next tip i have seen a lot of students they have 2 hours to study every day, but they would waste these 2 hours in watching videos of different YouTubers who talk about new strategies. Even I make a lot of strategy videos on my channel. 
but what happens is that when you watch these videos every day this breaks your flow and you're back to square one you do not have to make this mistake guys stick to a single game plan what i suggest to my students is that watch a couple of videos in the beginning of your preparation before you even start your preparation watch a couple of strategy videos analyze these videos add your own inputs to it and finally make your own personalized strategy plan and then just stick to it till the exam don't get distracted by multiple strategies available online or a strategy that your friend might have recommended you on a sunday brunch only change your strategy if you cannot see results in your mock test one more thing friends that you must must remember that is irrespective of what strategy you pick ensure that you know two things before beginning the preparation your syllabus and the previous year papers syllabus of your exam will tell you what to study whereas the previous year papers will tell you how to study those topics so ensure these two things are a part of your strategy plan and keep going and we are finally on the last step now it is on making smart goals now what are smart goals smart here stands for specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound goals set weekly and monthly targets for yourself without targets you are studying aimlessly as it goes by failing to plan you are planning to fail so don't make that mistake set targets and stick to them i'm not asking you to make daily targets because there are certain topics which might take more time than you have thought so you will set daily targets and then you might get demotivated so weekly and monthly targets are a good option secondly review your performance each month with respect to the targets you have set revise these targets if need be we often tend to get demotivated when we are unable to achieve our targets but rather than belittling yourself praise yourself for achieving something if you have not achieved everything if your target was to complete five chapters by the end of the month and you were just able to complete three rather than being upset about the two incomplete chapters can we praise ourselves for completing three and by using this you will come out in flying colors as promised it's time for the bonus tip it's especially for the ugc net english literature students the tip is that guys who are having shortage of time or who are facing time crunch please do not read the original text of novels plays or poems prescribed in ugc net syllabus you will only end up getting confused rather focus on summaries of these plays poems and other text on my youtube channel i post script summary videos for each work that is important from exam point of view alternatively you can also watch a video or go to websites that provide free summaries like cliff notes spark notes lit charts and you will find summaries and analysis of each of these texts available on these sites for free remember your brain can only remember limited things that's why summaries are very important and don't forget to read the important facts in our online course for ugc net english that we provide we provide not just the summaries but we also cover all the other important details that are important to be covered by ugc net english aspirants so if you want us to take care of ugc net preparation from scratch then log on to our website arpitakarwa.com and check out the detailed list of 850 writers that we cover in our online course you can even listen to the demo lectures before you decide to buy the course and with this we have reached to the end of this lecture i would love if you guys can comment down below out of these five tips which one did you like the most if you find this video helpful then please like this video and also share it with other fellow aspirants if you have any questions or doubts or any topic that you want me to make videos on then feel free to put that in the comment section below i fondly read each comment shared by my youtube subscribers if you are looking for ma entrance phd entrance ugc net pgt tgt exam updates then there's a good opportunity for you you can follow us on instagram and facebook we post regular updates about these exams on these two platforms moreover we also share quick revision videos on insta and facebook every wednesday so that you can revise important topics within 60 seconds that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll meet you very very soon in the next video lecture 
Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.